Alright guys, Lurgy here. A um, bit of a different video today. Essentially it's going to be a bit of a flight footage from a maiden flight of a spec wing, um, which I've just put together. So, it's a bit of an interesting story behind it, hence why I'm sort of doing this little bit, making this video now. Um, essentially, uh, a friend of mine, Martin, he sadly passed away. He was into the model group with us. Um, he was in his mini quads and building planes and things. Um, and when he, when his stash had to end up getting distributed, sort of reassigned, it, it all went to people who were going to use it and do things with it and have done. Um, so it, it was really nice that it all went to waste, but it was very sad how it had to happen as well. And obviously the whole situation is just never great. But anyway, we'll, we won't dwell on that. The, the thing is, I ended up taking, amongst other things, I ended up taking some foam wings, spec wings, which Martin had cut out with a homemade wire cutter that he made himself with little wooden templates, which I've got all the templates. Um, these wings he'd already made, and he's put all the put all the carbon in them and everything, so I had two of these. Right? These have been sitting on the shelf for, well, probably a good six months, if not more now. Um, and I said, when I took these bits and pieces from Martin's, or, you know, I, I said, I'm gonna get that one going for him, because he, he had an idea of putting, you know, building one of these up and putting this little EDF on it, um, which, for various reasons, I don't know if it'll work, or whether that was even right, or whether that got misconstrued, or I don't know. But anyhow, he wanted to do one of these, and I, I took these and said, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna finish that off for Martin, and we'll fly it. So, the other day, I'm sitting here, bored, with this COVID thing, and that that wing just falls off the shelf, literally just falls off the shelf. And I'm thinking, oh, I've got to do it, haven't I? Well, I mean, what? There we go. Martin has spoken. So here we go. We got it. It's done. All right. This is the other one. This is the the one that fell off the shelf. All right. It's got a little run cam split in there. We've got a uh, mini quad butterfly motor. That should go like stink now. Um, the, the little EDF he'd planned only had 450 grams of thrust, so I can't see how on a 600 gram wing, which is that's ended up being, it's going to be enough. But um, anyway, I'll stop rambling. I just wanted to give you this little bit of a backstory and, and try out my new camera that moves around. This is funky, isn't it? Anyhow, um, enjoy the flight. I'll see you out in the field. Okay, right then, guys. So here we are, out in the field. When I say out in the field, don't panic. Literally, my house is there. I've got this. I'm lucky enough. I'm sorry. I'm lucky enough to have a field behind my house so I can fly it. Um, sorry, I really am sorry. Anywho, um, I came out yesterday and had a couple of little goes at um, getting the wing up. A couple of issues. I'll uh, be putting some videos up now so you can have a look at that. Um, just seemed to wanted to climb a lot. Uh, I think I've made the control surfaces a bit too big. I've given it too much reflex. I've also given it um, a lot more nose weight. I've now given it an extra 60 grams on the front. I tried an extra 20 grams yesterday. It seemed to help a little bit, but um, I think the wing produces quite a lot of lift and it doesn't weigh a lot. So, and I've maybe underestimated or overestimated the CG and other things possibly. I'm not a plane builder, but, so hopefully you've seen those attempts by now. And uh, here we go. So, right, let's, uh, Prop you up here, and you can see out into the field. Okay, then, guys. Give him a little clean up because I'm pretty sure this thing is fairly well balanced now and wants to fly. I've just got to not fly it in the power lines like a bloody numpty. Right, let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, that is better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm at about a third throttle. So 2500, 2203 on 4S. So uh, it'll, uh... that'll do. Oh, Martin, I hope you're proud of this, mate. She's a beauty now. So, will it go upside down? She's inverted. Yeah, man. This is so steady. My neighbours probably think I'm nuts, I'm talking to myself while I'm flying this, but... Oh, this is so smooth! Silky smooth, right, left, right! Roll right, is, yeah, maybe, it's probably there. Oh, yeah. I hope you can see this on the... Uh, on the GoPro pointing out into the field. Let's see if I can bring it past. Oh, it's so controllable. Let's see if we do a nice, uh, nice slow flyby for you. Whoa, low speed stall. Okay, it needs to keep a bit of speed. So let's see what it does then.
exciting guys um i'm gonna call that a success brilliant fun um so yeah if you've stuck around this far i guess you might be interested in sticking around and hearing a little bit more about the uh the wing and martin and and stuff so um basically it was a mra spec spec wing um which martin had lengthened basically the wing cord were the same the nine inch center and the six inch end um but he'd made the wing longer it should be 36 inches and this was 47. um i don't think he'd even tried this design before i never spoke to him about it i only found out about it when i went to uh you know get my my bit of the haul as such um but yes yeah, what i say thanks ever so much to to lee uh superfly for thinking of me and that you know, I do building sort of similar to, to Martin did. We were both similarly into uh, making our own toys as such. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm uh, glad I went for the, the quad motor on it rather than the turbine. This uh, little, it's a Dr. Mad Thrust. Um, it is a 480 kV and it was only 3S as well. Um, I said it was 450 grams of thrust so it, it probably would have worked but I don't think it would have quite had the performance I've got out of it now so I'm really glad I went for that um, there is also more videos on Martin's channel which I'm going to try and put a little thing up here this might not even work but anyway um, that's Martin's channel he's Shadow FPV um, and there's a few videos of his spec wing and some other stuff of his so you can get the idea um, of what he used to do i mean he, he he inspired me to to fly fixed wing i got into quads because of the fpv i've never been bothered to fly before even though my dad flew model airplanes when i was a child um I, it never interested me i don't know why and i was out flying with martin um one of the few times i've even met the guy um just been flying together that was all um five or six times maybe and he convinced me that i needed to get a wing and that uh, wings, fixed wing was so much fun. And I built the FT Arrow, uh, Mighty Mini Arrow, and had a lot of fun with that. Um, really, really never, it never flew as well as that one did today, though. So, um, yeah, I'm ever so chuffed I've built this, um, this spec wing of Martin's design. And uh, so, really glad I had the chance to do it. And it's it's nice that it's, it's come round and it's all worked itself out. And we've got a nice little thing out of it yeah I've got a nice plane and I think I've got a little list here I'm just I'm just I've even almost read a script for this uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah and I think that's about it I'm gonna stick a couple of pics of Martin up show his plane um, oh, I have one other cool thing he did he did he flew a FPV on 1.3 gig he flew uh, 11 or 12 miles out off the coast and round some wind, uh, wind turbines and uh, a story I've heard Martin had some great times and Martin and Lee and I, I just yeah I, I thought I'd make this video really just to just it's a bit more interesting than just chucking the wing up in the air and showing you a bit of flight footage so thank you again if you have stuck around to listen to me ramble on about this and and uh, I think that is about it I'm gonna wrap it up all I'm going to say now is I can't wait to get out with Lee and probably the rest of the few of the gang and get this thing up and chase it and get some footage from that and I'll be putting that up at some point as well. So um, hopefully guys, until next time, stay safe, stay indoors and I'll see you soon.